Hi guys, another one from S&G, just talking over this two week project. What we did was give it a fungicidal wash, a jet wash, chased out the cracks, cracks for crack stitching, resin filled, light fill, primed, painted, I guess, um, uh, the same as always. So we had a few problem walls here and we also had a problem with the paint on the lower areas, it was bubbling up um and pulling away whenever the walls got wet so we had to go around with the jet wash and basically remove remove a lot of that paint you'll see it soon we did actually do some of the guttering on this project as well we replaced some and we actually painted some in we painted the guttering or we do paint our guttering in with a solvent based msp it leaves a nicer finish we find clients are pretty happy with with whatever really um, but we always find it's it dulls especially upvc uh, dulls it down a little bit so it just looks more like iron i guess as opposed to um plastic as i do find with um the regular msp from bedek Anyway, as you can see here, the paint was just flaking off the walls after we put our fungicidal wash on, went ahead, jet washed, and yeah, this is what happened. So after that, uh, we had to go back round and fungicidal wash pretty much the whole building um, again, because underneath that paint, it was all that fungal buildup. So we just repeated the process, really. We ended up jet washing um, all that we do, all the guttering as standard anyway. Pull out, just clean all the guttering. Um, we actually clean the roof of this conservatory as well. Uh, so a little bonus there as well. And normally what we do or what we did do is pull out any of the stones, make sure that any of that flaking paint comes up nice and easy. With the crack stitching, as you can see, we use the resin filler there. Nice and solid. And then we go ahead with our fine fillers after that. So to make sure that we, the, the, the resin's just, it's a rock solid. It holds it a lot better. Um, stitches can range really. You can, you, you know, the rods come in about a meter length. Doesn't this really need, mean you need to use uh, a meter, um, especially for, 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 for what we're doing. So um, I'm sure they will, uh, they will do the trick. Of course, once we've done all of that, we peel stop as well. Um, so we've peel stopped all over everywhere where we filled any problem walls all gets peel stopped um, we did do some wood repairs on that door um, and on these windows as well everything gets primed twice so all woodwork two coats in this case in most cases we're using cover stain really enjoying it quick dry and solvent based um, and then two two coats top coat i think in this case we used an msp a water-based MSP, which is quite unusual for us. Um, as you can see now, you've got the Emperor paint system on there. This paint is fabulous. It covers so well. Um, basically, silicone-based. Um, really, really, really nice paint. Goes on really well and uh, and looks the business. Covers very, very well. Of course, in some places, we, we still put our free coats on. Um, on this wall, it had a mist coat and uh, two top coats. Uh, as well as the uh, stabilizer as well might be a bit ott but it's fine um and these are the results yes uh, we're very very happy with this one um everything was kept nice and clean client was very happy not much else to say um oh we did do the woodwork in the saddling extra wood stain so we ended up doing a door in the porch client wanted those done um, as we uh, as we got through the project, but yeah, two week turnaround, happy days. The building's protected, and plus it looks nice. Yeah. Cheers, thanks, bye bye.